Okay, I wanted to show you guys an issue that we have here in Georgia, uh, a lot of places in the south, and it's these carpenter bees. Um, check this out. Look at these. I don't know if you can see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's one, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's fifteen or sixteen plus a bunch up there in the, up on the top. And this is the damage that they, you know, people say they don't do damage. Look at this. All of this is part of this house. And so we got to get rid of these things, at least control them. But we don't want to use a bunch of pesticides and stuff that'll kill all the good bees. And these are good bees. They just, I, I can't let them eat this house. So we're going to go back to the shop, build some traps and uh, show you guys how to build them and hang them up and then come back in a couple of weeks and see how they work. So, Okay, so there's a couple of different designs, a couple of different ways to do these uh, carpenter bee traps. Classically, we use these big jars, big mason jars. Um, and I saw a really cool design that used water bottles and I think we're gonna make a couple of different types, um, different sizes and actually different materials because I have some treated uh, treated 4x4. Four four. Mackenzie's got a untreated 4x4 four four, and I saw a design that uses here's a 2x4 that I'd never seen before. I thought it was cool so I'm going to make one of those and that actually is the one that uses the water bottle. So I'm going to finish this bottle and then we're going to start cutting. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in this with a one inch and then I'm going to drill a hole in the side so I'm going to add an angle. This is going to be down actually like this. Hopefully meet in the middle and then attach a bottle and some way to hang it. It's really that simple. Be, these bee traps really are just two holes minimum. A half inch hole going at a 45 degree angle up meeting a one inch hole going down B crawls up and it's his butt is keeping the blocking the light from the hole that's coming up so it follows the light down and gets trapped in the bottle. So so I'm gonna basically use this as a pattern for this. So I know that my hole needs to start right about here. There. And this one. Mm -hmm. I dropped my square just a minute ago. This is really sad. Let's start going straight. Like that. Okay. That's basically the trap. Whole whole thing down the middle lead to this. I'm going to cut a little angle on this and put a little roof on it so it looks cute. But you don't have to do that, of course. You need to zoom in on him and I'll ask him, hey, you got his reaction, you ready? Yeah. Got any carpenter bees at your house? Cousins, hundreds, decimating my screen porch. Alrighty.
come back in a couple of weeks and see how they work.